Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to calculate the Arrow Pratt measure of risk aversion. That is a picture of Mr. Arrow, and that is a picture of Mr. Pratt. Just kidding, that's the real Pratt. So measuring the degree of risk aversion. Uh, we're going to use rho to represent this measure of risk aversion. And rho is equal to minus the second derivative of the utility function divided by the first derivative of the utility function. So now for some examples, we're going to calculate the Arrow Pratt measure of risk aversion for Ben. His utility function is given by W wealth raised to the 0 0.5 power. So the first thing we need to do is get the derivative of the utility function with respect to wealth. So the 0 0.5 in the exponent comes down in front. And then we're going to subtract 1 from that exponent. So 0 0.5 minus 1 leaves us with wealth raised to the minus 0 0.5 power. And now to get the second derivative, we'll take the derivative of a derivative. So taking the derivative of the first derivative, this minus 0 0.5 comes down in front, so I have a minus 0 0.5, and that's just going to be multiplied through everything here. And then once again with the exponent, we're going to subtract 1 from the exponent. So the second derivative will simplify to the following. Now just putting our derivative results together, the second derivative divided by the first derivative, notice that the two minuses will cancel and 0 0.25 divided by 0.5 leaves us with 0 0.5 in the numerator. I'll bring this w minus 1.5 down into the denominator, leaving it now as w raised to the 1.5, and just adding the exponents. This is our measure of risk aversion for Ben. For Ben, risk aversion decreases with wealth as w gets bigger, as this denominator gets bigger, row will get smaller. All right, so another individual here, say Jerry, his utility function looks like this. Wealth is raised to the 0 0.25 power. We'll get the first derivative. We'll get the second derivative, the derivative of the derivative. Leaves us with this result. Forming our measure of risk aversion. Once again, the minuses cancel here, and we're left with 0 0.75 divided by W. So for Jerry, uh, who is risk averse, just like Ben, his level of risk aversion will decrease with income. Overall, Jerry is more risk averse than Ben. For a given level of wealth, Jerry has a larger row. All right, let's do a few more examples. Let's take a risk-neutral person. So in example two, we're going to look at a risk-neutral person, whereas in example one, we're doing a risk-averse, uh, examples of risk-averse individuals. So utility equals 20 times wealth. First derivative is 20. The second derivative, the derivative of 20 is just zero. And so our measure of risk aversion here is zero, and that's what you'll get for a risk-neutral individual. Let's look at a risk-loving or a risk-preferring person. Here the utility function would take on a form something like this, where w is raised to a value greater than 1. Our first derivative, we get 2w. The derivative of 2w is 2. And you'll note here that our measure of risk aversion rho is going to be negative. Okay, so now we're going to look at an exponential utility function and find the Arrow Pratt measure of risk aversion. So first a review on how to take a derivative of an exponential function. So just in general here, y equals e raised to the g of x. So we're going to take the derivative of g of x and that's going to be out in front and then just multiply it by our exponential function. So doing that, the first derivative of the utility function will look something like this. 
the derivative of minus 0.75w is just minus 0.75, so you're going to have two minuses out in front, so that's why the minus cancels here. And then we will take a uh, derivative of a derivative. So here we're going to bring down the minus 0.75 in front. And you're left with this, forming our measure of risk aversion. The minuses and minuses cancel. The exponential functions cancel. And you're just going to left with 0.75. So in this type of case with an exponential utility function, risk aversion does not change with wealth. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.